Hi, my name is Nevin with Pitsco Education, and today we're going to be building the glider for the AP Rocket Launcher 2. Spread out on the table in front of me are all the parts that come in the AP Glider Kit. There are three sheets of laser-cut balsa wood parts for the wing dihedral gauge, a glider clip, three sheets of laser-cut balsa wood parts for gliders, a rocket cap, rocket tube, and clay. Items required that don't come in the kit are IC gel, a pen, a hobby knife, a glide launch stabilizer, a ruler, transparent tape, and an AP rocket launcher too. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is build the wing dihedral gauges. What you're going to do is just take a hobby knife and cut all the places where the parts contact onto the balsa wood. And after you've cut all the places, you just proceed to pop it all out. After cutting out the pieces, take glue and put it in each of the little divots on the larger pieces. That's where the larger piece of balsa wood and the smaller pieces connect. And then you just push them together. After finishing it, you can follow the same steps to build the other wing dihedral gauges. Now we're going to start assembling the gliders. So select one of the three different glider shapes, and then just start with the hobby knife, cutting where the contact parts are. After cutting all the pieces, you can just pop them straight out of the balsa wood. Next, we're going to take the wing of the balsa wood and on one side of it, there's going to be a line that you can see that's cut about halfway through the wood. You're going to want to bend it ever so slightly. You want to break it all the way through, but you do want to bend it and you will hear a cracking noise. Then you want to take the glider and you want to place it on top of the wing dihedral gauge. So the point of the wing dihedral gauge is to get the proper angle for the wings. After you've placed it on top of the wing dihedral gauge, you're going to want to place a line of glue along that line that you cracked into the wing, and it's gonna set that angle, basically, to where it won't move. After gluing the line, give it a moment to dry. For the next step, you might want to place like a paper towel or a sheet of notebook paper under the parts that you're gluing, because you don't want to get glue on the table. You're gonna take the fuselage and this underside fin, and you're gonna just glue them together. After gluing, you might give it a minute to dry. For the next part, you're going to want to take the stab and glue it into the back notch on the fuselage. Next, take the two pieces for the fuselage's nose and glue them to both sides of the front of the fuselage. So just put glue on each side of the fuselage and then press the parts together, making sure to line up the holes on both pieces. Next, you want to take the wing that you've had sitting on the wing dihedral gauge and you're going to glue it to the top of the fuselage where that notch is. You're going to want to place glue along the same line that you glued the crack earlier.
After building the glider, what you want to do is take some clay and fill the front hole of the fuselage halfway. Make sure to smooth out the clay when you place it in so there's no clay protruding from the middle of the fuselage. After adding clay to the glider, test it by giving it a toss. If it doesn't fly straight, then try adding a little more clay to the hole in the fuselage and then just retest it. If you want your glider to fly straight, leave it as is. If you want it to fly down in a spiral pattern after launch, then add some clay to the wing. Now that we've finished constructing one of our gliders, we're going to build the rocket tube that the glider is launched on. The first thing that you need to do is measure out six and a half inches from one of the ends of the tube. You can mark it with a pen. Next, take the rocket clip and tape it where you put the mark on the rocket tube. Make sure the prongs point down at the six and a half inch side of the tube and tape it in place. Next, put the cap on the short end of the tube. And that's the construction of the rocket tube. Now that we've constructed our glider and our rocket tube, we need to construct the launcher. There's a hole on the tripod and the body of the launcher that you need to line up the holes and place a screw in it. After you've screwed the tripod and the launcher together, take the launch stabilizer and slide it over the tube on the launcher, and then take your rocket tube and do the same. Then, take your glider and put the tail between the two prongs on the launch stabilizer and the fuselage will hook on to the rocket clip. The last thing you need to do is attach your hand pump to the launcher. And now we're ready to go outside and launch our glider. Thanks for watching. For more AP Glider videos such as activities or real-world connections, check out our website at pitsco.com.